Check us out on other platforms. Welcome back to the Trailhead, uh, where today we give a bike away. So last year I did a video called Pay It Forward, where I tried to pay forward everything that's, that I've been given over the years. Um, I, I've been a very blessed person and I kind of want to bless someone else. Um, so, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so what I can do is build someone a bike. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, for this bike, pretty much everything has to go uh, from the cockpit. We're actually going to remove the stem, handlebars, everything up front. So let's start digging into that. All right, all our cables are loose, so let's remove this head cap. The last bike I did for Pay It Forward, it didn't need much work. And this one honestly doesn't need much work, but I kind of want to upgrade it and put some new parts on it to make it more modernized. Because the person I'm giving this to, well, I feel like he deserves that. All right, that's all trash. Those bearings are like bone dry, so we'll go ahead and grease all that while we're at it. Oh, that looks good. I just realized this is actually a Cane Creek headset, which is kind of cool. All right, let's uh, start working on the cranks. All right, we're gonna keep our cranks, but I'm not going to keep all these chain rings. So I'm just gonna pull the cranks from now and then so I can remove all the chain rings. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and move this chain first chain removal tool. I remember doing this, removing the chain back in the BMX days with a uh, just a multi-tool. And it sucked. So uh, if you don't have to use a multi-tool, <laughs> don't. Using a uh, proper shop tool works so much better. All right. And I got a new chain for it, so we're also gonna trash that. All right, now that we move that chain, Let's go and take this uh, front derailleur off because we're not going to need any more. We're going to upgrade this to a one boss setup. And that's not in bad shape, so we'll throw that in the parts bin, but probably never use that ever again. All right, let's go ahead and remove those cranks. nice and greased that's good and use our crank removal tool make sure you always thread that as far in as you can get it because you do not want to uh, rip these threads out all right there we go there's our crank set so we're going to remove all these chain rings because we're still going to use the crank arms but we're only gonna use a one bond in the front, so all that come off. All right, we are keeping our rear derailleur, but we are replacing our brakes. So let's go ahead and pull those off. And these aren't bad. Uh, they're actually Tektro mechanical brakes. They're not a bad brake. They're just not a, uh, we're upgrading to hydraulics. So, don't need these old school mechanicals if we have better hydraulics. Okay, that one's off. Let's go ahead and remove the front one. And then I think that's everything off the bike that we gotta take off. Now that our bike is all uh, taken apart, let's go ahead and clean this up. I just like using a degreaser because we're re uh, oiling everything anyway. So the de degreasing it won't hurt anything. It does a really good job of getting old caked on dirt and grease off. Yeah, it looks a lot better. It did not take long at all to clean up. All right, now that's clean, let's go ahead and clean up our other parts. So if you can't tell, we have a lot of bike parts laying out here. Um, a lot of new parts that we're gonna put on. A lot of these are things from my parts bin. Like this came off my uh, giant e-bike when I got it. Um, this is the old saddle off of my, uh, my old full suspension. 
So a lot of this is parts I had laying around, so I didn't spend much money on this. Um, so it's not a big deal for me to, to do this because, you know, I don't have a lot of money. I, uh, I don't make money off these videos. So being able to do a video like this is not always easy. Um, so luckily this bike is in pretty good shape. It doesn't need too much to get it modernized. And a lot of the parts I already had laying around, so I didn't have to buy a bunch. Um, I had to buy bars, I had to buy um, a shifter and a new uh, rear cassette. Um, but everything else I had laying around. Um, I didn't have to spend any money on it. So I'm going to work on getting all these parts clean. And then we'll, uh, we'll start tearing to put everything back together. Obviously I'm not going to make you watch all of me cleaning this stuff. So I'll be back when everything's clean. Perfectly straight. So the rim is perfectly straight, so we just need to clean it up. One wheel down, one to go. This one is dead straight as well. So let's clean it up and move on. All right, that one's all clean. I think we're ready to put the parts back on the bike. We're upgrading the uh, rear to an 11 to a 34 tooth. So it'll increase the range quite a bit on the bike. And then we're gonna run a 32 tooth up front to complete our one by setup. So we'll see how well that works. But I think we should this should work for There we go. Nice and installed. I guess we're ready to start putting this stuff back on the bike. These are pedals that came off my, uh, my old Giant, and when I googled them, they're actually like $70 pedals. So uh, the only reason I took them off my Giant is because they had red accents on them. So they're really good pedals, so it's uh, I'm going to give him a nice upgrade on the pedals instead of the cheap ones I normally put on bikes. So, hope he enjoys. Alright. I really wish I had the money to upgrade this fork because I mean it, it's pretty budget fork but I just can't afford to but I greased it up really good and hopefully you'll get the job done for him
make sure always to grease up your post, boys. There we go. All right, the bike is completed. It is ready to go. Uh, but you're going to have to wait till next episode where we give this to a new rider. Um, this guy is very special. He is one of my oldest friends. And he uh, recently, well, recently, <laughs> he uh, contacted me about two months ago saying he wanted a mountain bike. And I've been sending stuff to him, but it's just, you know, like everyone right now, it's hard to justify a big expense like buying a mountain bike for something that is something for our leisure. It's not something you need. Um, so I decided that I wanted to, him to be the next person for pay it forward. So I really hope he enjoys it, but we'll have to wait till ne next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Check us out on other platforms.